Back to the good old Gables. Really close to the Palace of Machines. You can see it right there a little bit. So it seems, it seems, like we're getting to the end, for real this time. Seems. I'll take that. Nothing else I forgot. Those white items can, uh, can ever so kindly die in a fire. I'll take your slams. Okay, maybe I... Maybe I won't. These slow-moving, exploding douchebags. That's cool. We're good. Oh, some gargoyle champs off in the distance. Should be alright, though. a lot of damage. Nice. I like it. I like just swinging my sword wildly and watching as things die. Oh my. Yeah, let's not stand in the middle of the exploding corpses. It's a good life lesson. A lesson that looks like Katarina did not learn. Until it was far too late. Alright, gargoyles. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, goody. My favorite kind of enemy. Mana leechers. And entrap me in bones. You guys are fun. I hope my sarcasm is not lost on gargoyles. Seriously, screw these guys. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I cannot make any progress with all that mana leeching crap. I wish there was some way to counteract it. But I can't really do that. I got my reputation up at least. I think the best I can do is try and take him out from a distance, but my ranged weaponry leaves much to be desired. And they're just going to come up to me anyway, so it's worthless. You douchebag, get down here. I hate them. I hate them so much. Alright. Six skill points. Mm. HP, HP, regen. Essence cost. I do kind of like the sound of that. Ten percent, though. 
I would much rather get scavengers simply for extra resistance. HP regen. Well, 20% of one, again, is not that great. 5% HP. How much would that give me? Hmm. It's not a hell of a lot, isn't it? Magic Vine and Poison Resistance. You know what? I think I'm going to go with that. I think I'll go with that. What is my Poison Resist now? 45. Sure. I'll take it. That seems like a... Oh, it's a sword. It's not a great one. In terms of damage, but everything else is pretty alright. Unfortunate. Alright, let's grab this sweet treasure. I don't want you running over there because I know that's something you're going to do. Gotta get that sweet barrel gold. Check out that medallion. That's that's a shame. All right, let's continue on. Where's the goal at? I can't see it. I trust we'll get there soon. Another rare cape I'm probably not going to be able to make use of. as well check it out. Oh. That's too bad. Crap, I wasted my heal. Pushed it just before I saw a second chance go off. cool though. The loot eases my pain.
Jesus, look at all these. I still... Th I still think I clear huge groups of enemies faster using flowing combo than I can cleave. At least it's, that's just how it appears to me. Hmm, okay then. Oh, more... Oh my god. What the hell is that? Some kind of pistol wielding gentleman. It's the worst kind of gentleman. Just keep swinging away. Oh, nice. Another level for me. Most of them. There's the gentleman. Oh, God. Marquise of. S what? Oh. I, I actually didn't even notice the bone entra entrapment thing there. Marquise of Soot. He also has Fire Tornado. Luckily, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. He keeps moving away before I can hit him with my second swing, asshole. There we go. Oh, this is that bridge that was up before. Anything cool up here? I saw there was a little load thing. Rooftop mayhem, what the hell? Alright, hold on. Let us check the loot first. Like we do. Only check the rares. Which aren't that great. Well, certainly neither is that. Hmm. <laughs> Still don't know if equipping that, if ranged weapons on Katarina make an effect on her damage, but... I'll just go under the assumption that it does. Alright, that just loops back around. Rooftop mayhem. Sounds like fun. Who doesn't enjoy some good old fashioned mayhem every once in a while? Hmm. I must get to his headquarters, the Palace of Machines. So I guess this is the Palace of Machines. That hat is garbage. Oh, it's also the Palace of these annoying bastards. so much. The words can't describe the hatred. Alright then. Sure. Oh god. They're just gonna keep grappling me up there. Take him down. Oh. Okay. 
You guys... Yeah, it's you assholes that are doing that. Like always, it's always you. God damn. Well, that one's glitching out. And so in this so is that one. <laughs> That's weird. The turrets are shooting the champions down there. It's a shame they're not hitting them though. They'd be doing me a solid. Look at him. Uh, oh god. No, I I didn't want to go down there yet. God, there's so many. I don't like this area. So many things I don't like. Hmm. No, I was considering equipping it, but then I saw how it reduced my HP. Mana leechers. Yay. the gargoyles that were doing that, I think. It's always the gargoyles. You sons of bitches. Gargoyles, would you kindly piss off? On, kill him. The hell. All right, finally. Okay. That was something. It's a good thing I bought all those those potions before coming here. I want the treasure first. Then I'll kill you. Oh, Katarina, what have you done? You're aggroing the zone. You're working against me here. Cool though. I still got this. No worries. There's another glitch, one of those thingies. What the hell's down there? If that's where I'll have to go, then I'll just head straight to it. What's this? Oh, Palace of Machines! Let's go! Sweet, we made it. This is the final boss already. Here we are at last. Congratulations, Mr. Van Helsing. You've managed to play our little game right to the end. Do you think that this is a game? Of course it is. The oldest one in the book. The hero and the villain. But he is clearly insane. There can be only one. Please, make him stop before we drown in cliches. <laughs> With pleasure. 
Ever danced with a giant machine in the pale moonlight? Oh, why'd you say that? It's getting them nice references going on now. I'm going to enjoy watching you fry, Mr. Van Helsing. Oh my. No, he's filling the battlefield with dudes. I hate you for this. I wasn't expecting to fight the final boss, like, right now. <laughs> I figured the palace of machine would be its own thing that I had to work towards. You wouldn't hit a man in a giant robot, would you? Yeah, I would. Oh my. It's these little assholes, these flying douchebags that are just doing so much damage. You to talk, Mr. Van Helsing. I expect you to die. Look at all these guys. Jesus Christ. This is science. Okay, he's getting like some kind of shield thing. Where's this line coming from? But I won't be missed. Oh. Uh oh. Do not trap me in the corner with en enemies. Oh. No, it's cool. It's cool. Circle around. Destroy this thing. You underestimate the power of science. I love that second chance. Assembly hatch. Matter reconstructor? That sounds important. Jesus. Ever danced with a giant machine in the pale moonlight? Destroy this thing. I don't know what they, it does, but... It does things, and I don't want it to do the said things, so. Seems like destroying it would be the way to go. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many things to destroy. Oh. Hello. What is this? Protective ma matrix buffer. You and me, Van Helsing, and our problem. The final problem! Rocket guidance regulator. Yeah, that seems also something important that I would like to smash. Sheer simplicity in its elegance. Thanks for the loot. So I guess we'll just keep making the rounds. You and me, Van Helsing. God, there's a lot of these. All right, come on. We can get this down before we have to run again. Aha. Oh, there's another kennel gate thing there. Run. If destroying all these things gets rid of all these uh, enemies, or at least prevents them from respawning, Oh god, he's out. Science. I want to put at least a little bit of damage into everything before I move on. Oh, damn. Nope, no way I'm getting that. I 
don't expect you to talk, Mr. Van Helsing. That laser he has is like a little... A little mini Metal Gear type laser thing. That's what that reminds me of. Oh, damn. My plan is sheer simplicity and its elegance. Keep spamming those potions. That is the key to victory. Yeah, you need to stop sending out things to kill me, please. Don't like it, don't want it. Make sure I get everything. Nice. My plan is sheer simplicity and its elegance. Oh, oh, it's so close, I want to kill it. Yeah. This is science. Jesus, look at all the guys. Oh. Oh, damn. Inventory being full is not good times, especially. I assume he's gonna drop loot when he dies. You and me, Van Helsing, and our problem. Although I don't know if you can actually like do anything once the game is over. Ever danced with a giant machine in the pale moonlight? I can't say that I have. I don't know how the mechanics of dancing with a giant machine would work. Get it down. Come on. Yeah. Alright. We're getting there. I don't expect you to talk, Mr. Van Helsing. I expect you to die. Alright, so I got that. That gate is down. I have no more room for the belt. Oh, I completely forgot about that one. Alright, this. This needs some deeps. I can still get it. Sweet. Oh god, don't jump on me, bro. So long, rocket guidance system. Alright, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I don't think I got it down. Do I have enough room for a ring? No. I have no room for anything. No, don't attack enemies. I want you to run. Right then, that gate is down. Alright, I can definitely get this down. Cool, cool. You underestimate the power of science. That's down. This is definitely gonna go down. Nice, I got the essence too. Up, oh, that one went down. Alright, we're getting all these. I'm happy. Is that everything? Oh no. Still that. 
No more minions for you. I think that's everything. Now, unless there's something... Oh. Apparently, I can't walk through that little great thing. No more towers. And I think I got all the gates. Now, let's start whittling down the enemies. Which is something I'm good at. should have changed his accent to make it sound more like Bane. Ever danced with a giant machine in the pale moonlight? Right, just me and you now. I don't expect you to talk, Mr. Van Helsing. I expect you to die. Use the rage. For once. You wouldn't rob an old man of his killer automaton, would you? Oh, I already am. Here we go. Boom. Nice. Unidentified sword. Always oh, exploding. I want that sword. Oh, going on there definitely a lead into the uh, the sequel which I'm not sure when that's coming but um, I'm actually looking forward to it I think overall this game was actually really really quite enjoyable I didn't enjoy not being able to pick up that sword but I'm I'm pretty sure it'll put me back there when the credits are over but overall, I'm actually really impressed with this game. I mean, I bought it when it was 50% off on Steam. $7.49 is how much I bought it for. But even at the full the full price of $15, it's absolutely worth it, especially if you liked you know, loot-based ARPGs like this. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's identify. But yeah, if you like games like this... That's garbage. But, um... Yeah, back on the point I was trying to make. If you like games like this, this is absolutely worth the time and money. It was a little hard starting out. As just, If you've been watching this playthrough in its entirety, you would no doubt have seen. It was uh, quite, quite difficult to start out with. A lot of deaths, but once you start to get into it a little bit, you start leveling up and get good gear and stuff like that, it becomes manageable, which is cool. But yeah, I mean, I don't even know how many hours did I get out of this. I think just just today I checked, and I think parts 17 through 35 totaled up to about 10 hours. Then you got the 16 videos before it, including this one. I think I can squeeze two videos out of my play session of today. At about 30 minutes each, that's that's a hell of a lot of playtime for for a $15 game. That's a damn good value. 
That's a damn good value. And there are some technical flaws here and there. Uh, you know, sometimes the movement is a little bit iffy. Uh, there's some frame rate stuttering that happens on occasion. But I think the biggest, the biggest thing I can complain about is the fact that the, um, the, uh, the resolution settings are not that great. I mean, normally if you fire up a game full screen and you check out the list of resolutions, you, you have your, you pick the litter. There's so many to choose from, but in this one, there's only three and none of them are 1280 by 720, which is what I, that's the resolution I play at when I record my footage because it makes it easier to render. But for some reason, that resolution is not available. So what I had to do was set my desktop resolution to 1280 by 720 and run the game full screen that way. That seems kind of strange. I don't know why you have to do that, but that's honestly my biggest complaint about this game. I've thoroughly enjoyed the hell out of this. And uh, I definitely look forward to the sequel. If it's going to be anything like this one in terms of the amount of game time that you get out of it for the money then uh, I'm definitely excited definitely excited so thank you all for joining me on this incredible adventure it's been a hell of a lot of fun hell of a lot of fun I'll see you next time